Hello and welcome to an overview of Vault 74. Uh, Vault 74 is a decentralized chat application. Um, for those of you who are new to decentralized tech, essentially what that means is there is no server running this. We do not own any servers. Your data does not go through our servers. So everything you do can be kept completely private. There's no spying going on. There's no tracking, nothing like that. So what that means is your video streaming, your audio, everything will only be limited by your own network speed. So you could stream it as high quality as you want, theoretically 8K if you'd like. Um, but I'm just going to go ahead and show you through the application how to get started. This is an alpha application, so you should know that some features may not be ready. But by the time you watch this video, I probably added some new features to the application, probably a lot if you're watching this a month later. So yeah, poke around the Discord group, which will eventually convert to a Vault 74 group where we have a lovely community ready to help you guys figure things out. Um, and it's ever growing, so I'd love to have you guys there. Right, so let's get started. But before we do, it's worth noting a lot of the setup is strictly for alpha. In the production release of this product, you won't need to know anything about blockchain. That'll all be kept behind the scenes. While I do think blockchain is a very interesting field, and I think it is the future of computing, it's something that you don't really want to force on you, the people, to figure out just to use a product. So we will be abstracting that all away in the future. But if you want to get on the bleeding edge and you want to work with us on the alpha product, you do need to understand a little bit about this. Now, the first thing you want to do is install MetaMask. This is essentially a crypto wallet. Um, it also allows us to connect to the blockchain without the use of our own servers. Um, so install this in Chrome and uh, go ahead and get started. Once you do, you will see a MetaMask icon in the top right of your browser. Um, it'll look like a little fox and you will have an account. You want to copy that account address and go over to the faucet listed down below in the description. Now, usually Ether would cost money. But we are on a test step because we don't need everything to cost money right now. We're just working on the alpha. So you can go ahead and get some free Ether to run the application here on this testnet faucet. Now, again, in the future, this is something you won't need to worry about. If you just want to use the platform for free, don't need to worry about all this. So just, you know, keep in mind, this is just for the alpha. So I'm going to go ahead and request some testnet Ether. And any second, I will see it pop up here in my MetaMask. Okay, so as you can see, I have 0.05F. That is fine. Um, we're going to go ahead and set up our account. When you first load the Vault 74 page, you will see this setup profile uh, screen. I'll just go ahead and choose my profile picture. We can even zoom in, in a little bit if we want to. Um, we'll say retro test for the username, and we hit create account. Now, we'll just go ahead and approve the transaction in MetaMask in the future if you're using the production. Now, what it's doing right now is it's writing all the data to the blockchain, which is kind of like a big public computer um, that stores all the data. Again, there's no central server here. Nobody is controlling this data. Um, so sometimes this could take just a little bit, but this is a one-time setup thing. After your account is set up, everything else is handled peer-to-peer -peer and it's very fast. So give this a second to set up and then you'll see you move on to the next step. All right, you can see the first transaction is done. The second transaction is actually uploading our profile picture to the network. We'll go ahead and confirm that as well. And you'll see we're on the last steps. Just go ahead and wait for this to complete and you'll be redirected to the main page. And here we are. That was quick. I didn't even get to finish talking. Um, so as you can see here, it's telling us this app is best used with friends. That is, in fact, the truth. This is a chat application after all, file sharing application. Uh, so we're going to head over to our Discord, and I will actually copy my friend code. Um, you can also find my friend code in the description if you don't feel like joining the Discord. Maybe you're just here checking out the application. You got recommended by a friend. Um, so we can click any of these many friend buttons on the screen. I'll go ahead and click here and I will search for my name. You can see here is me. Um, you can verify that I am the developer by hovering over this icon. And that's also worth noting, if you guys are early alpha testers, you will get a special icon for the life of the platform. Um, and if you'd like to help contribute to the code base, you will also get a contributor icon. Um, so I'll go ahead and add myself, um, and then we can go ahead and click chat. Now, again, things are rapidly changing in the platform. This code sample is just examples. Um, it's not the you know real chat right now um, this is something that i expect to get done by next week early next week maybe even sooner so if you're watching this video chances are it might be done if you're watching it as soon as it comes out not done yet but like i said come by a discord group and you'll be up to date with how things are going now you can see it supports embeds of links um, it supports embeds of youtube videos you can even send each other ether if you do understand how that currency works through the application the plan in the future is to support currencies uh such as fiat Fiat currencies and other um, currencies as well um, but for right now that's what we've got um, now you can also send files so let's say I want to send my beautiful profile picture to Sophie 
I could just hit send file and this is an actual file hosted on IPFS. We can hit view image and see in the URL. This is a live file. You could send that with anybody. Um, if we go ahead and let's just say um, cat pictures. So look up some cat pictures. Um, it also supports just copy pasting in. So let's say I want to send this adorable kitten. Um, let's see this guy. We'll send this guy over. Um, all we have to do is control V. It's automatically uploaded and we send it to Sophie. Now, once it's verified on IPFS, it pops up in the chat and we're good to go. So you can also see all the images that you've shared on the application here. You can even upload some more images if you want. I don't know. I'll just upload my profile picture again. Um, just as an example, you can also remove the images from here. Um, but this is basically the gist of what's going on. There are plenty of settings to mess around with. We have shield your eyes, light mode, we don't like that. We have dark mode. You can edit your profile here. Let's say I want to change my photo. I could do that here. Um, I won't go through and do that at the moment. Um, you can pick your audio devices, set some custom key binds, um, set up connected devices. So if you have a ledger wallet or a Trezor wallet or whatever, you can set that up to the account. Um, you can manage your uh, storage, um, your network settings. Right now we're just using MetaMask um, and plenty of other settings in here. Um, so feel free to poke around the application. And like I said, I'm looking for early alpha testers. So if you guys are interested, join the Discord group down below in the description. Help me out in testing the application. And I will see you guys very soon. I'll do some more updates on this second channel with the platform. Very excited for how this is going. There are many, many hours of code in here, but this project is only a month old. So we've got a long way to go. A lot of exciting things in the future. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Remember, check out the additional information down below in the description. And I'll see you guys later.